An interview with Drew Barrymore in Egypt Air's In Flight magazine is weird as hell, leading us to speculate that it's either very fake or very poorly translated. You're watching What's Trending, I'm Shira Lazar. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more social media news stories daily. Adam Barron is a writer and political analyst who's an expert on the Middle East, particularly Yemen. But something not relating to global politics caught his eye on a recent Egypt Air flight. It was an interview with Drew Barrymore that seemed sketchy to say the least. He tweeted photos of the magazine writing, this interview with Drew Barrymore in the Egypt Air in-flight magazine is, um, surreal. And it really is. The interview from Horace contains bizarre quotes that appear to be either made up by a non-English speaker or poorly translated from English to another language and then back to English. Stuff like, I find this a great opportunity to encourage every woman who is overweight to work on regaining her beauty and body, especially that it is not as hard as one may think. Or this one. I cannot deny that women made a great achievement over the past century. There is a significant progress recorded by people who study women's status throughout history. I mean, I'm trying to follow that one. Still doesn't make sense. Like she may have said something about the progress that women have made over the past 100 years, but it's doubtful that she said, there is a significant progress recorded by people who study women's status throughout history. The introduction to the article is also very bizarre. It says things like, it is known that Barrymore has had almost 17 relationships, engagements and marriages, and she's been subconsciously seeking attention and care from a male figure. But unfortunately, things do not always go as planned and she has not yet succeeded in any relationship for various reasons. Wow, sounds like a bad trip to the therapist. And yeah, typically an article about a big superstar actress would not begin by insulting her. Also, what does almost 17 relationships mean? Like 15? So obviously this raised a lot of eyebrows and people started reaching out to Drew Barrymore's team. BuzzFeed got in touch with Chris Miller, the president of her production company, who said, I'm not aware of this at all and don't have any record of this interview happening. And another rep told HuffPost that Barrymore did not participate in the interview. But despite all of that, Egypt Air is standing by their interview. Responding to a journalist who covers aviation news, Egypt Air tweeted, Dear sir, this is a professional magazine interview conducted by Dr. Aida Tekla, former president of the HFPA, that's the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, and one of the voting members of the Golden Globes. Sure enough, Aida Tekla O'Reilly is the former president of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. And this might help us figure out what actually happened here. Because Drew Barrymore did do an interview with Dr. Tekla O'Reilly for the Arabic language magazine Aram. And when you translate what's printed in Aram from Arabic to English, Barrymore's answers appear to make a lot more sense. Amazingly, a photo of Drew Barrymore holding a copy of Aram that appeared in their magazine is also in Horace, but looks to be photoshopped so that she's holding a copy of that magazine. Like no one would ever notice. Good job, guys. So our best guess is that Aram gave the interview to Horace somehow, and so her interview got translated from English to Arabic, then back to English. Oh, and they spent their introduction to the interview insulting Drew Barrymore as well. For his part, Adam Barron is a little surprised that his photo on Egypt Air went as viral as it did. He wrote, Adam Barron, Drew Barrymore has 5,000 Google hits. Adam Barron, Yemen has 18,200 Google hits. I've been writing about Yemen for eight years. All the Drew Barrymore stuff is from the past 30 hours. So what do you think happened with this weird interview? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to like and subscribe for more of What's Trending.